I am going to assume the position of uh, uh, Director General National Space Organization in August, this August. So probably I, yeah, yeah, okay, thank you very much. But it's, it's not about responsibility anyway. But yeah. I, I think that probably we can, yeah, probably let me propose just not really serious consider, but if any other possibility really work in uh, some collaboration between uh, NASA, JPL or something with uh, National Space NSPO. For example, it would be amazing that uh, we can have a Taiwanese astronaut training at the NASA. That's a little bit crazy idea. And then someday this Taiwanese astronaut can go to, for example, like the ISS International Space Station. I think that's uh, quite symbolic. Even we cannot send them by ourselves, but it's kind of symbolic for a lot of Taiwanese uh, here and also I think show the good gesture of the uh, good relationship between Taiwan and the US. That's just come up to my mind. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think one of the best things about the space program that ha and, all, and other nations having space programs is the ability to cooperate in space, right? The, the ability that it brings us all together. Even if we're not working together sometimes, it brings us together, right? There's certainly the uh, advancements that we each make uh, advance the knowledge of the human race. Uh, regardless of what nation is responsible for it. Um, but I love the way that it can bring us all together. So I think that's a, that's a positive, step. positive step. If that can happen, it's going to inspire the Taiwanese youngest a lot. It's going to have that big impact to the, to the society and regenerate and push that up. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's what I sure. thought of this <laughs> very... But because if, if talking about international collaboration, I think we probably need to look from the NASA side probably they know better what Taiwan can contribute during the journey to space. So probably, yeah, that's probably if you could bring this message to your, your top table or something, uh, they'll be grateful. Yeah. Thank you. And so, like, for young people in Taiwan who are, like, interested in working in the aerospace field, is there, like, any opportunity they can seek in NASA or, like, do you have any advice for them? I'd say, you know, certainly to uh, to follow those dreams, right? There, there's, uh, you know, having some perseverance to uh, to follow those dreams is going to be necessary, right? Things are difficult, um, to, and it's a difficult industry to break into. Um, that being said, right, science itself, the uh, you know, planetary science, is a is a field that's open and it's international, right? There are folks from all over the world who are involved on the science end of things. Um, typically, the engineering side is a little bit more difficult to break into because of various rules and whatnot. Uh, but the science side, I think, is wide open. Um, and I think that's a, uh, you know, it's intentionally an international collaboration there. So I think there's a lot of opportunities. Yeah, with them, to work, it's from their point of view. Hey, Taiwan can contribute, can contribute something. And I think Taiwan's ability is close. So that's what's interesting. It's for us to say that we can contribute, and our ability to contribute is increased. 我刚刚提了两点，一个是是不是可以可以让台湾的可以帮台湾训练台湾未来的太空人，哦，这个我想会对台湾社会很大，因为我想这在年轻辈，这台湾的年轻人，因为我想会是一个很大的 impact， 会很多的讨论，很多的刺激 excitation 啊，如果可以真的这样，哦啊，可以送台湾的年轻人到到 NASA 去做。替台湾人、台湾人、台湾人太空人受训练，这我想是一个非常重要的，有新巴黎，而且非常重要的一个，哦，一个一个一一个合作。第二个是因为台湾未来三期，它其实有一块是外太空探索，叫 space exploration， 就是说啊，这个 space 人这现在在讨论，还没有完全定案，也有可能是去做 moon 的，送一些仪器去那边做实验，或者其他的。在我们地球外面的一些外太空的探索，哎，这个可能跟美，这是比较偏 science 的 exploration， 这个可能跟美国合作机会，我觉得很大